Hello, fellow starseeds. I am Julie Joy, your servant of the light, with another powerful message from the Ninth Dimensional Arcturian Council, as channeled by Daniel Scranton for April 8th, 2024. And this intriguing title is How to Choose the Timeline or Future You Want. And they begin greetings. We are the Arcturian Council. We are pleased to connect with all of you. We are very capable of seeing down many different timelines simultaneously because we exist in the ninth dimension. And we can see the various timelines that are in front of each of you who are receiving these messages. We know that new timelines are created when you get imaginative, when you go beyond the beliefs of those around you and those who have come before you. We know that you are very creative, in fact, and capable of reaching for the stars, quite literally. Many of you are wondering when ships will land all across the planet, and you wonder with the idea that it is set in stone right now. You think these decisions are being made outside of you by some other being or some other groups of beings, but you get to decide when that happens. You get to decide when humanity has access to free energy. You get to decide when you take everything that is coming to you. All of your gifts, all that you've ever wanted to manifest, it is all right there waiting for you to receive it. You are the ones deciding. You are the ones focusing. You are the ones vibrating. You are the ones thinking, feeling, acting, speaking. And as you remain in alignment with what you want to do and let go of what you don't want, then you put yourself on that best feeling timeline for you. If you align with a version of the human collective that is ready for full and open ET contact next year, then you will have that experience. But if you look around and say, these other humans aren't ready, then you stay stuck on that timeline. It is up to you. Think better of your fellow humans and of yourselves. Rather than focusing on your flaws and your foibles, focus on how far you've come, how much potential there is within each and every one of you. And focus on the love that you are and the love that exists in every other human being. And while you're at it, focus on the truth that all beings throughout the galaxy are love. They are source energy. And sure, many of them have acted in ways that are much less than what you would expect from a source energy being. But that just means you get to have the experience of forgiving them. You get to see the best in every being. That's your choice. That's the choice that will feel best to you when you make it. There really is no other choice because you must make that choice in order to be who you really are. And being who you really are is where all roads lead to. You are all going home to source. You are all there to remember who you really are. So don't forget that. Don't fall into that trap of seeing yourselves as small, insignificant, and destined to have certain experiences. The world is what you make of it. Your lives can be better, even by the higher standards, if you allow them to be so. And you are becoming your higher selves, your fifth dimensional selves, no matter what anyone else is doing, or no matter how it sometimes appears. Choose the best timeline for yourself right now by being conscious about the fact that you are choosing and that the timeline that you will feel best to you does exist. We are the Arcturian Council, and we have enjoyed connecting with you. Now, I am certainly one of those among practically everyone on this message, probably, that just can't wait for full disclosure, full ET contact. I think that would be beautiful. This amazing message was channeled by Daniel Scranton. His own website is danielscranton.com, and you can watch him actually channel the Arcturian Council on his own YouTube channel, which is simply his name, Daniel Scranton. I will be able to post the words to this message below in the show more section. And please let me ask you to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already done so. I'm on a bit of a membership campaign and not to make money. I'm not even monetized. I just would love it if more of these messages got out to more people. I am Julie Joy, your servant of the light. And it's my honor, and with much pleasure, I bring you these incredible messages. And don't forget to create a great day. Mm -hmm.